Hi there. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Arduino IDE's code completion or autocomplete feature. This is arguably the most significant and most requested feature for the Arduino IDE in the last few years. And while it does not exist yet in the official release, we can already see how it may work in this beta version, 1.9.0 beta. Please bear in mind that since this is a beta version, or beta version depending on your pronunciation, what you'll see here is not final or authoritative, and it's subject to changes of all kinds. Code completion is all about the IDE being smart enough, as it were, to guess what you're trying to write and suggest ways to help you finish what you started. If you've programmed in other more advanced IDEs, you already know how to use this. If not, all you have to remember is the key combination control plus space and the tab key. So let's look at a couple of um, use cases of the uh, autocomplete uh, module. The most obvious one is autocompletion of uh, identifiers. Let's say I have a variable called int my variable with a very long name. And I want to initialize it here in setup. So all I have to do is um, type the first uh, characters or letters of the name, in this case MY, and then press control and space together. Control space. And it, what happens is the is that the um, the autocomplete module looks around inside the, the namespace or namespaces of the program for anything in the C++ language, in the Arduino core libraries, in my own code, anything that begins with MY. If it finds only one option, as in this case, it gives me the entire name. However, let's say I have another uh, variable that begins with the same characters. My other variable. In this case, if I write my in control space, it gives me the two options that it found. Uh, the name and the, um, the type. Now you can either uh, double click the option that you want or um, use the arrow keys to navigate here and click enter or tab keys to select. And if you think you made a mistake and you want to or you want to um, type in something manually, you could click outside this box or click um, escape. Same thing. This is the first use case. The second use case is um, is function calls. In a function call, let's say I have a function, let's say I have a, a buzzer connected to the Arduino I and I want a function to, to make it uh, start or stop making noise. So I write this function, void set buzzer state. And I have a um, const boolean is on. Right, and uh, the content is not yet uh, decided, so I um, I want to call it from here. So I write set now control and space. I have a few options from other things such as setup itself, but here's set buzzer state. Now, if I select this, it not only completes the name of the function, it also gives me the um, the name, the parameters it expects, the names, and their types. This is extremely useful if you don't remember by heart every single function that you write and the list of its parameters. This can save you a lot of uh, debugging and trouble. So you can write, uh, as long as you don't press outside of this rectangle, you can simply type whatever you want to be here, that you want to, to put here. For example, true. Um, if you did click outside that uh, rectangle, set buzzer state, uh, clicked outside, so it became um, a regular text. So you have to delete it manually. Now another thing you can do, the other, the third uh, use case, is accessing the methods and uh, properties of objects. Let's take a serial. Serial dot. And again, control space. Now this gives you a list of everything that Serial recognizes. Um, now this is uh, quite comprehensive and quite intimidating, 
intimidating for beginners. However, you can filter this down if you want to say print something. You can again type the the first uh, characters or letters P R. Now you uh, reduce the list to only print functions. Again, this is a bit confusing, but you don't have to uh, follow the, the recommendation here. You can do whatever you want. Um, now you notice that it didn't give me the name of the parameter, and this is a, a prob problem. Um, I'll try to do this. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work. I'll try to write a, a digital write. Okay, got it. Digital write. Um, this is a, of course, the built-in um, function in the Arduino core libraries. If I select this, I get uh, the the comma. And the, the, the types of the two parameters it expects, but not their names. So I don't know which ones mean what. Um, now, if I write the name of the, uh, sorry, the number of a, a, a pen, I click tab, I went to the other uh, space, and here uh, you would usually write high or low, but for some reason, the uh, the autocomplete does not recognize these constants, so you can't. Um, at least in this uh, beta version, you can't uh, autocomplete them, you have to write them manually. Um, now, uh, the last uh, use case I wanted to show you is uh, also very nice. Um, let's say I want to write a for loop. Write for, control space. Here I have uh, these are not names of variables or anything. It's just the uh, the elements of this uh, of this structure. And again, I can use the tab key to um, move between these elements and and write over them. So for int statement, I can write immediately something like int i equals zero. Now, without clicking outside, that will make it uh, all plain text. Without clicking, I just click. Uh, I press tab. Now I'm in condition. Um, i is smaller than 100. Another tab press increment expression i plus plus. And the last tab will lead, will lead me into statements where I can do the control space delay and unsigned long. Okay, I know at least that it's an unsigned long one. So uh, this is a, the uh, code completion in Arduino IDE, a very useful feature, very uh, powerful, will save you a lot of time in uh, typing and in, uh, in debugging actually, and uh, I really appreciate uh, the Arduino folk for um, doing this, and hopefully it will be around soon in the official release. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.